What's up? It's Yvonne, and in this video, I want to show you how to create a storefront on Teespring. So a star storefront is basically where instead of taking people to your one shirt or one hoodie or whatever item it is you're selling on Teespring, you can instead take, take them to kind of a store where you can have multiple items there and people can choose, right? Um, sometimes too much choice is bad, as we've discussed in a previous video. Uh, but if you want to give them an option, if you know, you know, someone already likes your products and they want to see what options are available, maybe it's good. Okay. So the option is yours. Let me show you how to do that. So when you log in, first thing we'll need to do is click on the top right and let's go into storefronts. All right. It's actually pretty simple. So we'll go to get started. Let's put the name. So let's say, let's say Vaughn's store. So we'll create the name for the store. Uh, and now on the left hand side here, we can change anything that's over here. Okay, so let's start off with the header. Let's go from top to bottom. So with the header, here's what it's going to say here. So I can change this. The maximum limit is 30 characters. So if I keep going like that, right, there's a limit. I can no longer write anymore. So let's say, uh, you know, let's say awesome store and t-shirts something like that right now you can also upload a logo if you upload a logo this will disappear okay so you can only have one or the other you cannot have both so choose one um but that's like that's fine right that looks fine to me you can also choose a color for the theme and that's going to color that whole background there so if i make it this as you can see it's that now um before you click back make sure to click save okay so let's click save and that's it we're done for that part now we can also add a banner and this banner will kind of be right below this title. So we can upload an image and that will just have an image show up right over there. Okay, okay. and then, uh, so let me just say, you want to say changes. Okay, so next we have products. So here's where we would actually add the products that we have. So you can click add products. Now, uh, here's some expired products that are no longer there, but we can still add them to the storefront. So these are some of the products we had. Okay, so we can add all of them. Um, yeah, so these are ended, as you can see here, these are ended, but let's see if they will actually show up. Okay, so that's fine. So let's click done here. Now let's go next. Okay, so they are listed there. I'm just not sure. I don't think they will be available to buy because the campaign has ended. So we're actually going to check right after. Uh, but next we can go to about. Now you can set the site. So this is just um, this is going to be the website that, that 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 you want people to go to um, after the landing repair. So be like, hey, you know, um, visit visit our website for more ideas or for for some of the content related to this, et cetera, et cetera. You can put that here. So you know, I'll say a marketingessentials.com for your YouTube channel. You'll do the same thing. Uh, I don't have a username yet. Uh, mine is all in different characters and letters, but. I'll just put my name here. That's fine. You know, if, if you have Tumblr, you'll put it here. Twitter, you'll put here. Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Facebook, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, Twitch. And uh, over here, you can also write a description. So pretty simple. You'll click Save. And then it's, it's kind of going to show there in the About Us section. Uh, and then Settings. Here's where you can put the actual website of the store. So this is where you would take people to um, if you want them to visit your store, right? Uh, enable cross-selling. So after your clients purchase, you, you give them other ideas and other suggestions. I would keep this on because remember, as we talked about funnels, right? Um, if people are buyers, they're buyers, maybe they'll like something else. So definitely leave it on. And here's where you can delete store. So uh, let's not do that. So let's click save. When you're done, just click on go to store. And now it should show you everything you have. So let's just go back and let's see, I think, Okay, so this one I think, yeah. So actually, the cool thing about this is that you can actually, uh, as it turns out, you can uh, buy items that have already expired. So as you can see here, this said last available three days ago, but I still want one, right? So this is a way for you to actually, um, you know, throw in your expired shirt ideas into and then maybe wait for some natural traffic. So every shirt that expires that you think is good, just throw it on here, right? And that that's pretty much like you're pretty much good to go because everything's there, nothing's lost. So um, that's good. You can still order one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So just one 
if just one more item is reserved, we can bring this design back. Okay, so they would need kind of, they would need to order one more item. And then if they see that there's some demand for it, they're going to wake up the campaign basically, okay? Now, if you want to remove anything, so again, let's go, go back to store. So let me just, let me just go back to the pages. I just want to show you something. So uh, we'll need to go back into storefronts. I'm just trying to show you if, you, if you want to edit this, right? You'll go to edit store. And then over here, if you go back to products, here's where you can throw out any products you don't want to. So, you know, you think that this one's a bad design, just toss it out literally. And then click done and click go to store. And there you go. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And then all you do is you send people to this website and they end up here. And when they buy, when they click on something, it's going to take them to the exact same page as they normally would have. So let's go to something that's not expired. So go to store, I think. Okay, so this one's not expired. And as you can see here, it says buy it now, available until Monday. So basically the same process, but it, you, you give more options to the customers. So that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.